Yes, hello everyone. This is Rick from Abandoned and Odd Places in Pennsylvania. Today I'm going to talk about a maroon real paddle boat like the Mississippi Queen you see um, in New Orleans. This one happens to be though in Charlottesville, Pennsylvania, next to Roadside America. Maroon not too far from the wondrous attraction known as Roadside America lies an old river boat looking oddly out of place. The dilapidated boat lies detached in an open field, which is actually a ditch, and they're going to put water in it and float it. But it's far from the days where it used to entertain guests off the coast of New York and New Jersey. It was originally built in Minnesota, and it was named the Swanee Bell. The river spent about 10 years um, off the coast of Jersey and New York entertaining guests. It was eventually decommissioned in 1991. After that, it failed as an attempt as a restaurant and then sat in Tuckahoe, New Jersey, which is uh, the outer edge of the Pine Barrens in a New Jersey storage unit until 2003. At this point, the riverboat was purchased and was finding a new home in rural Charlottesville, Pennsylvania. The original owner had planned to use the riverboat as a tiki bar. What he wanted to do, he dug a huge ditch all around the boat about 50 feet or 100 feet wide or more, uh, fill it up with water about 6 feet deep, and then float the uh, paddle boat in here and then use it as a tiki bar, uh, truck sand in, and um, use it that way. He even entertained the idea of using it as a legalized gambling river boat which he might have been able to do technically because it was on water, wasn't on land, and um, casino gambling is legal uh, on rivers as long as you're not on land in um, certain states, although I don't know if Pennsylvania is one of them. Um, and in um, certain states uh, that are along the coast of the Atlantic, you got to be uh, 12 miles out when international, in international waters. But both of those ideas failed, and it's been sitting there ever since, rusting daily. There's a tree growing out of the bridge of the boat. Um, and new, the new owners of a nearby restaurant continue to pay homage to this lost riverboat, having named their venture the Riverboat Saloon. I'm about three blocks away from Roadside America my destination but look what is about a hundred yards east a river boat right here on dry land about a hundred yards west east of uh, roadside America it looks pretty much intact I don't know, have any backstory on it, but I will get a backstory on it and find out what's going on here. It's a paddle boat. This is very interesting. It looks like they have Christmas lights attached to the huge steel paddle, steel and wooden paddle. They may light this up at Christmas time. Yeah, I see uh, lights running along the bow and the stern of the, of the boat. This is the stern area, of course. I need to find out what river this river boat uh, plowed in, plied in. It has one steam stack in the front and the other one is down and you can see it's on the side.
The inside is not worth going in. First of all, I can't get at it without a six foot ladder. Second of all, it's just all gutted out. There's no seats. There's the bridge on the top. It's a pretty cool find here. You see the one stack is uh, came off or torn off probably from the wind. Looks like this boat's been here quite a while. Again, I'll get the history of it, the name of it. Steel Hall. Steps leading up to the bridge. People can probably go on the on the deck on top. Probably was a riverboat gambling for riverboat gambling this boat. Because right next to it is the riverboat saloon. And that looks closed also. There's a seafood restaurant next door. There it is. Paddle boat in Charlottesville, Pennsylvania, right off Interstate 78. You're not going to see that that often. And right over there is the interstate and my car. Couldn't be more than 30 yards away. There's a stack laying on its side. All right.